Welcome back, YouTubers. Um, today we're going to start working on this grill. I got it dipped, acid dipped. I'm going to go ahead and cut the back, that expanded metal out. Um, you can see that it come out pretty nice. Once I get it, this expanded metal cut out, I'm going to weld some studs on here so I can bolt the other metal grill that I'm going to put in here on instead of having it welded that way you don't have to mess with all that masking and painting and all that stuff could be a real pain I still got to pound out some of these dents I straightened the main part of the body up but there's still quite a few dents and rocks and stuff that have got up against it and I'll get that ground down and put a little filler on after I get it hammered and dollied. This here is the metal I'm going to use to put in the grill. I'm going to take my zip cut and cut that off there and approximately there. I still got to uh, mark my line where I want to cut it there. This is an old muffler cover off of one of my old trucks I saved. It was out in my iron pile. And then I'll flatten it out and put it in there. I think that'll look a lot better than that old expanded metal in there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting that off here with the, I call it the wheel of death. Because I don't have no safety guard or nothing on there. I don't recommend using these without a safety guard. But I've been doing it this way for years. I haven't had any serious accidents yet. Hopefully not. I do wear my earplugs and my safety glasses. <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. I ain't going to bore you with grinding and cutting. I see enough of that on YouTube as it is. We'll be right back. Well, I got this grill kind of mocked up. I put these straps on here just to suck that together. And then I'll weld some studs on the inside of here to bolt that grill on. And then if you can take the grill out here, then you can take this piece off of there if you need to clean it or whatever. And it'll make this a lot easier to paint. And I think it's looking pretty good there. I'm going to go ahead and take this back off now. I just want to make sure everything fit good. And um, I'm going to clean up that radiator and paint it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take that off now. Uh, 
I love these stainless steel bolts. Yeah, you can see that radiator's kind of crusty and rusty. I'll get her, I'll wire brush it up, do a little sanding, and we'll be back in a minute or two, and I'll uh, give her a little coat of paint. There you go. Okay, I got that all sanded. Wire brushed it first and then sanded it. Uh, it's looking pretty clean. Blowed it off. I'm going to give her a coat of this uh, rust stop. It's a uh, satin black. We'll see how that works out on that. I need to do like old pudding over on Puddin's Fad Shop. Put this on my sawzall. <laughs> He's crazy. I like that guy. All right, here we go. Get my respirator on. I like to get all the hard spots first. That kind of helps you keep them getting around. I'm not going to put too much on the cores because it just restricts the air. that done come out looking pretty good I just wanted a little bit of that spray paint on there to help keep it from rusting or whatever but it's looking good in there um, I hope you guys like our videos and make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'd love to hear your comments I'm gonna have to make a two-part out of this grill because I still got to get my welder out, weld them tabs in there, and bond it up and prime it, and, and we'll paint it on the next video. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome back, YouTubers. Um, today we're going to start working on this grill I got it dipped acid dipped I'm gonna go ahead and cut the back that expanded metal out um, you can see that come out pretty nice once I get it, this expanded metal cut out I'm gonna weld some studs on here so I can bolt the other metal grill that I'm gonna put in here on instead of having it welded that way you don't have to mess with all that masking and painting and all that stuff. Could be a real pain. I still got to pound out some of these dents. I straightened the main part of the body up, but there's still quite a few dents and rocks and stuff that have got up against it. And I'll get that ground down and put a little filler on after I get it hammered and dollied. 
this here is the metal I'm going to use to put in the grill. I'm going to take my zip cut and cut that off there and approximately there. I still got to uh, mark my line where I want to cut it there. This is an old muffler cover off of one of my old trucks I saved. It was out in my iron pile. And then I'll flatten it out and put it in there. I think that'll look a lot better than that old expanded metal in there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting that off here with the, I call it the wheel of death, because I don't have no safety guard or nothing on there. I, I don't recommend using these without a safety guard, but I've been doing it this way for years. I haven't had any serious accidents yet. Hopefully not. I do wear my earplugs and my safety glasses. <laughs> well, I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. I ain't going to bore you with grinding and cutting. I see enough of that on YouTube as it is. We'll be right back. 